Hi, my name is Ulf Bang, and I have some exciting news that I want to share with you about System Arcade 2.0. In the new user interface, the left menu works as a kind of a wizard when you select the units. In the unit data, you can select airflow, pressure drops, and temperatures. When we go to drawing, uh, we can select the combination that we would like, if it's a rotary heat exchanger or a plate heat exchanger, and the size. Of course, we still have a toolbox where we can insert functions and configure the unit as we like. A new feature is the dashboard. Here you can see the most important information about the unit. If I change the efficiency of the heat exchanger, I can see that the values are updated. More unit data is also available from the drawing tab and here I can, for example, uh, change the dock connections. Now I add a damper on the back side of the fan and change the size of the damper. I have full size and half size to choose between. As you can see, we've been working a lot with improving the user interface and we really focused on trying to create a great workflow in the software. Let's make a copy of the unit. I want to use this as a base for unit number two. Here I want to change the air volume and change the size of the unit, so I select a size 20. Go to drawing again. Remove the damper on the back side. Also move the damper from the extract air to the outlet. I also want to insert a mixing damper. And now I think I'm happy with the configuration of the unit. Let's go back to unit one. Here I want to change the dock connection to flexible. I also want to divide the casing. So instead of have one big casing, I have two sections for the main unit. We can see the small arrow in the top indicating the section between the two. Then uh, let's configure unit three. I select a cross flow heat exchanger, unit size number 20. Put on a base frame. Um, select a different plate distance to have a more efficient. Check the dashboard to see if everything is okay and it's definitely not. So I'll change the unit size and update the dashboard again and I can see that everything is okay. Let's try to put on some control system. We also have a brand new dialog uh, for the control system and when we enter the dialog we can see that everything is rearranged. If we go to the sensor selection dialog we can see where all the sensors are placed inside the unit and I can even right click and change the position of the sensors. Now we are done with the configuration and I want to calculate all three units. And all calculations are successful, so I go to print out. We also made a new layout for the printout, especially the front page is changed. On page two, you can see all the temperatures, humidity, pressure losses, what pressure is in the different sections, relative humidity, and the most important properties of the functions through the unit. On the following pages, all technical details about the included functions are available. This was a short demonstration of the new System Acad 2.0, and I am sure you will be pleased with the new version. Thank you for your attention.